Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from William's Sandwich Recipes of 1974, we're going to be making the salmon and cucumber sandwich. Mm. First thing we got to do, soak some cucumber slices in French dressing. Now French dressing up until mid-century was actually just a vinaigrette. Then tomatoes under the picture, some paprika or whatever. And, well, here we are. It's the 70s. Now to drained canned salmon that has been flaked, we add shredded celery, minced onions, mayonnaise, and a sprinkling of salt and lemon juice. Get that all mixed together. Now I want to butter toast. We're to put down a lettuce leaf and put our mixture on top of said lettuce leaf. That's what the instructions say to do. They didn't say it exactly like that, but that's what they said to do. And I almost forgot our cucumber slices that have been marinating in French dressing. Okay, let's give this salmon and cucumber sandwich a go. It's a little messy. Flavor-wise, not bad. You got that onion. And the celery's kind of disappeared. The richness of the mayonnaise, that sweetness from the uh, French dressing, crunch from the cucumber. It's not bad. I do want to plus it up though. I think I'm going to do a little black pepper. Okay, let's give this salmon and cucumber sandwich plussed up with black pepper. Go. Peppery bite kind of offsets the sweetness of the French dressing, but doesn't negate it. Works really well with the salmon, works really well with the mayonnaise, the onion, <laughs> presumably the celery, and definitely the cucumber. All right, so the original salmon and cucumber sandwich, very 70s kind of sandwich with that French dressing, but I thought it was pretty tasty. I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. Plus up with a good amount of black pepper, probably seven and a half, eight. Um, it is tasty. I am going to finish it. I don't know that I'd ever make this again because there's so many other great sandwiches to have, but I'll finish it. So got that going for it. All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>